Perpetual Mommy here today to do another Hobonichi 2022 haul unboxing for all of you. So this is the second order that's coming. There is one more order that's coming after this one. And I watch a ton of videos, you guys. So I make videos, but I also watch videos. One of the people I really like to watch is Jackie at Quoth the Crow. And I love that what she says at the beginning of her videos is that it does not take expensive planners. It does not take Hobonichis. It does not take a name brand mainline trendy planner to be part of the planner community and for years you guys i've been a planner i'm not kidding you since i was probably seven years old i have loved planners and i used to love just going to target or walmart and picking up the little six dollar planner and using that all year long so she's absolutely right you don't need all the fancy pens and all the highlighters and all the stickers and all of the stuff to have a great planner experience. And I just want to thank her for reminding the community of that because we can all get lost in this. And I'm really lucky in the sense that I have a lot of bags because I do a lot of bag reviews on my channel and I'm able to sell bags in order to fund some of this stuff. So I'm lucky in that sense. But I know that some people choose to spend their money other places or they just don't have the money to spend on this kind of thing. And I don't ever want to alienate anybody. So to anybody who's watching this, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you like putting pen to paper because I, ha I get asked all the time, don't you digital plan? I don't. I don't digital plan. I love paper planning. I always have. I probably always will. But with that being said, let's go ahead and open this second, the second Hobonichi unboxing. There is one more coming. The next one is very small. This one's smaller than the first and the next one's smaller than this one. But let's go ahead and get started. Okay, you guys, so my second order also came in a white bag, and I th think it's because I had this on the outside. And this is so cute, you guys. I think this is like, I wanna say it was $3. And it was not even on my radar until I started watching a bunch of videos. And you guys, I have literally watched. If you made a Hobonichi 2022 video, I've watched it. If you have two subscribers, I've watched it. If you have 20,000 subscribers, I've watched it. I've watched every video. And so many people have this bag and I got on there and I looked, I'm like, it's like $3 and it's so cute. Okay. So for those of you who haven't seen it, I don't know how that would happen, but for those of you who haven't seen it, it does have a little drawstring and it has a little bag handle. And I think it just fits the planners so perfectly. We'll go ahead and we'll try to put some of these planners over here on the side in here in just a minute. But this is the small size. It also comes in a large, really, really cute. So this is a gift bag, but I'm gonna use it to store planners in. Now I will tell you guys, cause nobody's talked about this. This is not the softest material I've ever felt. It's actually very scratchy. It feels a lot like a russet, like a potato sack. To be perfectly honest with you, maybe not quite as scratchy as a potato sack, but it's really like, it's not a soft, it's not a soft fabric, but it's really cute. And for three bucks, like, you know, you can't beat it in here. For those of you who haven't seen it, it says, happy nothing special day. Happy something special day too. It says on both sides, very cute. All right, let's go ahead and open the box. Now, I'm sure you've all seen this pink box. For those of you who are new to my channel, you don't know this, I never read these quotes. One, because they've been read to you guys a bunch of times. And two, because I believe that when you read something to yourself, it really means more, it impacts more. So for those of you who really like the safety matches, fireplace chat, sayings or quotes, um, it, I, I leave it here for you to read. Okay, so this is the stack of stuff that I just pulled out of that little pink box, that beautiful pink box. And what started this order, you guys, for any of you who watched my first unboxing, and I will go ahead and link it up above and down in the description box below. Oh, here's the pen too. Um, I will go ahead and put it in there. And what you'll notice is in that unboxing, I realized that we had my mother and I ordered together and we had if it could have gone wrong on launch day, it went wrong for us. And the site kept dumping my cart. And about the fourth time through, I was done. We had like 72 items. It's a lot to add in for these. You know how that site works. Um, and I accidentally ordered the A6 instead of the cousin. And my family everyday planner that I use, I am an avid, dedicated 
Hobonichi, A5 Cousin User. This is my book of choice, you guys. I love it. So this whole order happened because I needed this book. Um, so I sold the A6 that I accidentally bought. And I got my beloved cousin. And I'm sure all of you have seen this a bunch of times at this point. But what I love about the cousin, you guys, is that it's got... We'll just look at it really quick. I know that you've all been inundated with this. Let me see if I can get this better in the frame for you. So you have the 2022, 2021, and 2023 calendars. And then you have your habit trackers or your listings. And I'm going to make a... Um, planner lineup video and show you guys exactly how I use all of my planners so I know a lot of people ask me ask me and then you have the monthly calendar so the month on two pages starts in December and goes all the way to March of 2023 and then right after that you go into a week on two pages this is my favorite part of this planner this is also the main reason why I don't use an A6 because I love this this is my favorite favorite part and then after you have the week on two pages then you move on a to a day per page so it's literally just my absolute favorite book out there I, I cannot say enough good things about it I've tried to not use it I've tried to use just a week so I've never tried to just use the a6 um, but again see my planners over here I'll get you a nice little shot of that these are all the Hobonichis I'm currently using they're on the left and I'll show you guys again in a planner lineup how I use those and how I plan on using my new planners for this next year. Okay, so because I got the A5 Cousin, I also got another pen. So this is the new Hobonichi pen. Again, I'm sure you've all seen it this year, but it's the Hobonichi Techo 2022 with the black, green, and red. I am not a ballpoint pen user like this, you guys, but this is literally my favorite pen pretty much to write in Hobonichi with. I love fountain pens. I love a good fountain pen, but this is my favorite pen to write with in the Hobonichi. And you guys, I am a dedicated 0 0.3, 0 0.38 user. This is a 0 0.5, but I swear it writes like a 0.38. And then I'm sure you guys have seen the Not So Scary Bear Spoon. He's really cute. Um, for those of you who want like really close up looks at all these things, go ahead and check again my video that's up in the iCards above or down in the description box below the last one. Okay, so I will tell you guys, I got two more writing boards. I did not need these, but I I just, I did not originally think I needed the saw. I don't know if it's saw lighter or saw leader. I didn't originally want his stuff, but then my son um, ordered in our order. He wanted the weeks. And when I got it, I was just so enamored with it. And then the more videos I watched, the more haul videos I watched, the more I fell in love with this particular photo. This is for the weeks, and I just love the kind of out of frame, blurry, foggy window look. It, it just, it speaks to me. It's so beautiful, and I think it will match so many different covers. I just really, really like it. And then Animal Crossing. I am probably the only adult in 2020, 2021 who has not played Animal Crossing. I also don't own a Switch. Ask me how much I love the Animal Crossing A5 cover. I love it. I want it. I don't have it. Um, just the colors are so beautiful. So I pacified myself with the pencil board, the writing board, because if you notice, I have a theme going on over here. I love greens, bronze. I love earthy tones, neutral tones. And I just thought this would look really, really pretty in here with this one. So I'm sure you all have seen the Animal Crossing. So I did not get the actual cover in Animal Crossing, which I love so much. Um, but I did get the pencil board just to, you know, pacify myself. And I know you've all seen this, but we'll go ahead and open it up. So my favorite colors are green, gray, pink, and purple. I love green and I love gray, like love. So gray is my black. Here we go. And I just love this backside too. So I just love how this looks with the search and find and with my chic sparrow down here. It's just so pretty. So in my next order that's coming, the next order that's coming is a cover for my mom and a cover for myself. My mother ordered the with time cover that's not here yet. And I ordered the A5 
um, the A5 Today's Adventure by Shinsuke Yoshitaki. And these are the little flake stickers that match that. So again, the artist is Shinsuke Yoshitaki. If I butchered that name, I apologize. And uh, this person is a children's book author and illustrator, was asked to make um, some illustrations. And these are little flake stickers. They're super cute. I'm actually probably gonna give most of these to my mother. But before I bought the cover, I thought, wow, I really like this. And here's why I'm torn, you guys. I love the Today's Adventure A5 cover, but I'm also really like the leather. Like, I love leather. And so this green one right here, this one holds my A5 Hobonichi cousin. And so I'd have to not use that in order to use the Today's Adventure. Let's go ahead and lay some of these out for you guys. We'll just go ahead and stick them right down here on the carpet. I've seen people pull out a little bit, but I've not seen like too many of them. They're really cute. They're tiny. They're actually perfect. They'd look really good probably in a week's, to be honest with you. Well, it's just kind of a smattering of them. I'll let you get a nice close-up look at those. It's a nice close-up of my carpet as well while you're down in there. But they're just really, really cute. So again, I'm torn, you guys. I'd love to hear in the comments below what you think, if you think I should continue to use my a5 chic sparrow cover for my cousin next year or you think i should go into the today's adventure the today's adventure is more whimsical it's a lot more childlike a lot less professional um a lot less grown up but it's very kind of like fitting for what i use it for because it's my family's planner it's the one that i plan our life in so um it just kind of fits with the children i have four children for those of you who don't know my oldest is 27 and is a firefighter and my youngest just turned six my children are all a decade apart except my last two which are barely a year apart okay so i've never owned one of these this is an annie pouch or an na pouch this is one of the drawer pouches this is technically their medium size and then this color is the let me think this is called desk garden so let's see here the straps really nice and soft. It's super smooth. I'll get, let you get a nice look at here at the embroidery. So it's very nice, smooth and textured. I like that. And let me know in the description box below too if you guys would like me to do like a packing video with this once I load it up. So back here you have a full slip pocket and then you have one, two, three, you have six card pockets and then kind of like a little divider, but it's open at the bottom. So it's open here. And then you have one, two slip pockets right there, a zippered section. And again, this one's also not sewn down at the bottom. So all these are open at the bottom. I find that interesting. I did not know that part of this. And then back here, there's another six. Sorry about that. And then back here, there's another six slots and then a full slip pocket. So the front side and the back side here match and then you've got the divider, the two slots in the zippered pocket, and pull under here. Okay, oh, and there's a full pocket back here, which is really cute. Okay, honest thoughts about this, you guys. It's really cute. I haven't packed it up yet. I don't think, I, I don't think it's worth the money, to be perfectly honest with you. So for those of you who love the drawer pouches, don't come for me. Um, it's just my first impressions. I haven't packed it up. The zipper is really nice and smooth. But I'm going to be really honest with you guys. Like the inside material just feels kind of cheap. And I don't, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. And I do not love at all the fact that this is all open down here. Like none of this is sewn down. I don't love that. I don't know, this is the first Hobonichi thing that I've been disappointed in. I don't hate it, but these little guys are pretty expensive. The zipper is nice on the outside though. Um, if you have an Anna pouch or an Annie pouch, let me know if you love yours. Like I said, I haven't packed this up yet, so I reserve the right to change my mind, but it's just, so far it's just okay. Okay, this is the last thing in this order, you guys. This is an A6 five-year Techo cover. I do not have an A6 five-year. 
I have, let's move these over here. I have an A5, five year. So I have a 20, oh, some kids drawings, but I have a 2020 to 2024 and I love it. And it's in the search and find A5 cover. Cause you know, I told you guys, I love green. Green is one of my favorite colors. So I love it to death. It's my favorite. And I told you guys in the last video, people ask me all the time, why don't you have any Mina Prohonin? And I don't have any Mina Prohonin because I don't love the faux leather in the Mina Prohonin. I wish it was a nice fabric or I wish it was leather. And so I realized that there are five years were leather. And so I got the Path and Camel. Now again, this is the A6 five year. And this is my first experience with Amina Prohonin. It's very soft. The fabric's very soft. It feels very, let's take this part out, it feels very structured. Okay, it feels very, do you hear that? Like there's backing or something on the inside that makes it um, not floppy. Can you hear that? So I was unaware that it was like that, but it's very soft. I really love the embroidery on it. So I really, really, really think it, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. I don't know what I think about the backing on the inside of it, but it is really stunning and it's super soft. It's super soft and look how pretty it looks. Look at that. It's not exact, but it just looks really pretty with my other ones right there. Just really nice. It's very pretty. Okay, but let me show you. I was thinking about for next year my social media stuff using a day free A6. So this is my day free A6. So just so you guys can know, see that I'm telling the truth. It's a day free A6 for 2022. And I took my pamphlet for this year, the one that comes with our books, right? And I made a book cover with it, just like you would in, you know, when you were in high school or elementary school or, or middle school, when you made the book covers out of, you know, paper bags, I did the same thing with the cover. And then this right here is the Midori A6 cover. And I will tell you guys, it is an exact fit. Like you have to be, you have to be really tight and, and skilled with your, skilled is the wrong word. It doesn't take a lot of skill to make a book cover, but you have to be really precise. Um, cause it is, it is literally an exact fit. You can see where it actually folded just a little bit there, but it went in here really nice. And then this is my Oh, this is another one. I thought about, so this is what it looks like. I thought about putting that, this one on, this is just one of the little supplemental books. Um, this is my yellow one. This one has all of my social media passwords. It has my affiliate information for different people that I work with, different companies that I work with. And I thought about covering it in this one so they matched, but I decided not to do that. So this is actually just a really pretty piece of vellum. And I'm thinking that I'm gonna put this in, this is a dashboard. So this isn't actually a cover, this is a dashboard, but I'm not using TNs right now. That's not true, I lied. I have two TNs that I use right now a little bit, but I'm not using this dashboard in any of my TNs. So let's stick it in here. It's gonna be a little bit too big, I'm sure. Cause it's not made to be this. So what you're saying that I did here is I just took a dashboard and I just washed it in so that the papers behind it are covered because when I slip it into something, I don't want these papers that rip out really easy to just come free because again, it has my collaboration information, login information, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so let's see here. For everybody who wants to know where this jelly cover is from, it's from Cat's Presso Co. I will link them down below. All right, so this cover is gonna be way too big. So remember, this is the five year. So this is gonna be way too big for this, but it might, it might work. So let's see here. Okay, so it's a little big, but I knew it would be, but that's really pretty, you guys. Look at this. It turned out really nice. I really like it. And because it's not too full, I can still write in here really easy. 
so I don't mind that it's not too full and as I bulk it up as I stick things in it I'll be able to stick pamphlets and other things in here too I'll have lots of room well that worked out really nice I'm pretty happy with that yay okay you guys so again here's my dilemma this year I'm not next year I'm not using this one this one's right now my work planner this is my my mega weeks and I'm going to use the Mega Weeks again for work, but I'm going to put it in here. This one's currently my social media planner. This one's going to become my social media planner. This is my Everyday Carry. This is the Supplemental A6 Hobonichi book. I love it. This is my five-year A5. And this is my current cousin. And this is also a Cat's Brasso co-cover. Um, and I just, like I said, you guys, I'm like absolutely in love with the... Chic Sparrow cover. So let me know if you think I should move out of the Chic Sparrow beautiful leather cover and into the Today's Adventure cover when it arrives. Because again, my color lineup for next year is going to be. So again, my color lineup for next year is going to be possibly the Today's Adventure instead of that. This one, this one, this one, and this one, and not the pink. Well, that's it for me, you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you like what I'm doing, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.